Hello super artists, we are going to be making our flowers today and then also making a vase for our flowers. And if you remember, we are going to be really careful as we draw the drawings of our flowers. So in this case, I'm working on my violet. I started with a small dot in the middle and a violet has five petals and I included them. I'm also working on my beautiful zinnia and the zinnia has many many petals so I'm starting with a dot in the middle the size of my thumb and I'm traveling around almost like fish scales around my zinnia until I'm touching all four sides of my paper so I don't want to stop here because I don't have all of the petals along the edge of the paper we want to make our flowers large for our flower vase. So I'm checking it. Doesn't seem like it's big enough because I have all that white space around the side. So I'm going to add a few more petals. So my zinnia is almost done. There it is, the last petal. So I'm going to start my gaillardia. The gaillardia is an interesting flower because it has a really large center. It was the size of my fist. It also has very long petals. And so I'm making the petals touch all the sides of the paper. That's how long the petals are. Now this Gaillardia had 15 petals on one side and 15 petals on the other side. So I'm going to finish that up by adding all the tiny details in the center of my flower. And there's many, many details on the middle of the Gaillardia. So don't forget, make sure you get all those details. So I'm so happy with my flower drawings. I signed my name, and now I'm going to pick up my purple sheet of paper, my violet paper, for my vase. Now you're gonna notice we're going to be decorating the vase with some shapes. I have all these different geometric shapes. You'll also see that a few of the shapes have numbers on them. We're gonna put that onto the bottom. But first I need to make a plan. I'm going to place out my tiny shapes and my medium sized shapes and my large shapes inside of the space for my base. I'm not going to start gluing quite yet because I need to make a plan for my art. And if you can notice, I pointed out some spaces that I left plain. So I'm going to fill those in with a few more shapes. And now I have to get my glue bottle open and ready to go. Looks like it's all set. And we are going to be using dots on the back of each of the shapes. So I'm adding four dots and just one dot on my tiny shapes will do because we don't need very much glue on those tiny little small pieces of plastic shapes. Well, I have the rest of these to do. So enjoy making your vase.